Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and retirement having. When we begin our first scene of life, we're looking at how do we know who to love. As we are beginning our age in the universe, we always hear the story of Jack and Jill. And we learn how Jack and Jill went up the hill. And we study that in our shrine. We also learn others that we remember for all time. But throughout our life, we are meeting a lot of people. We are greeting a lot of family. We are making a lot of friends, and we're doing and being with a lot of colleagues, co-workers, and we hope to eventually find strategic alliances and profitable partnerships. But if you don't know what those things are, then you've never produced a business. In the business world, we often run into people that we don't expect to be something to us, and then they turn out to be everything to us. They become everything to us because we realize that they are the ones that tell us the truth. They are the ones that kind of push us and pull us and help us to be more of who we are. And that's what good people do. The loving soul that I have adored for many years now is a beautiful woman on the inside. It was really what attracted me to her after my late spouse left. That her soul is what makes my heart soar. And her calls would make my heart beat. And I'm not kidding you. Every time I got a ring from her, it was a real treat. There was a time that my cell phone wasn't functioning for something, and I ended up having to use my actually spouse's phone. So I've known that woman a long time. She even met my wife and came to an event before she went out of town for a while in her life. And at that event, I was sort of disappointed that I didn't have alone time with her. She brought her boys, and that was fine. And my spouse sat there with us. But there was so much to be said, but so much that couldn't be said, it was hard for me. I remember standing with her at, outside of her car before she was about to leave, and I did say, I don't want you to go. But a lot of times women like that just say, ah, and men really hate the word ah, especially if you're a man of any type of age and generation. We don't want to be considered little boys to people, but what we know about people is that people who have intimacy with other people have different types of intimacy, and our relationship and our friendship and our business partnership allowed for a lot of conversations on a lot of things. And I can remember one time some of the girls that were associated with one of our side projects together, it was really more for her than for me, was inviting to her to a girl party. And I tried to encourage her not to go. I didn't want her to go because as the leader of our organization, I didn't want any photographs or impromptu comments to fly out in a setting that would be inappropriate to her in that moment of time. I know how women can be. I know how mentally women can be. I know how overweight women can be who don't have God in their soul. They can be ugly and unkind. They can say things to try to embarrass and humiliate someone who's beautiful by the world's standards. But that's not the point. The point is that we have to be willing to do the right thing. And to do the right thing, we have to be willing to say the right thing. And to say the right things, we have to be able to know the right thing. But sometimes when we don't know what to say, we can just say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And up will step one of your angels around you in the spirit realm and help you, to guide you. And that's what we need to do.